Hey, party people, it's Miaro, and I'm doing something a little bit different today. This is this is not a video about video games. This is a video about Dogecoins, which are a cryptocurrency that have taken the internet by storm here over the last week or so. And uh, so, this, so this is not, let me start this by saying this is not a super in-depth tutorial on how to get set up to do Dogecoins. There are way better tutorials than I could ever create all over the internet. There's tons of them. But the one thing that, that you don't see in a lot of those tutorials is sort of a, a 10,000 foot view of exactly how all of this stuff works. What happens a lot of times is you get into these tutorials and it's like, okay, the first thing you need to do is set up your wallet, then you need to set up miners, then you need to sign up for a pool, and, and it's just, it never really explains at a super high level how all of this works. So for people that are new to cryptocurrencies or people that are new to Dogecoin and want to get involved but the, the tutorials jump in a little bit too deep, I wanted to make this video to just give you a super high level view of how all of this stuff works. So if you're trying to get somebody into Dogecoin or cryptocurrency, you might point them at this video and say, hey, look at this first before you get into the tutorial so that you at least know some of the terminology and what's going on. So to accomplish this, I created this little drawing here that kind of shows the overall layout of how all this stuff works. So there's, there's two pieces of software that live on your computer. The first one is your wallet. And your wallet is basically where all of your personal Dogecoins are stored. And it's important to know that, that all of this cryptocurrency stuff, it's all like a P2P network, basically. There's no central server. There's no login and password. There's nothing like that. It's just a program that you run on your computer that connects to the P2P network and handles all the transactions. The really important thing to note here is that while this, this program is on your computer, there's a file that holds all of your Dogecoins, and that file is it. There's no, you can't recover it. If you lose that file, your Dogecoins are gone. There's no central server to log into and say, hey, restore my file. No, if the file is gone, your Dogecoins are gone. Similarly, if somebody gets a hold of that file, if you get a virus or something, and that file makes it out on the internet, anybody that gets it has access to your Dogecoins. So you wanna make sure that you protect that file, you wanna make sure that you back that file up, and there's usually an option to encrypt the file and you want to do that as well because like I said if somehow that file makes it out onto the internet anybody that finds it has full access to your dogecoins and you can't do anything about it. So the wallet is a program that runs on your computer it connects to the P2P network and it handles sending and receiving dogecoins. So that's great if you could get somebody to send you a bunch of dogecoins but typically what people do is they mine dogecoins and the way cryptocurrencies work is that Computers are given a math problem to solve, and once they solve this math problem, then a large block of coins is generated. They kind of materialize out of nowhere. And that's great, except that it might take a computer two or three or four weeks to, to crunch through one of these math problems and actually generate the coins. So instead of doing that, what people do is they join something called a mining pool. And mining pools are typically websites that are out on the internet that you sign up for, and it pools the resources of a whole lot of computers across the internet to solve these math problems and generate coins. And what happens then is once the coins are generated, once the block of coins are generated, it distributes, this website will distribute the coins to all of the people that took place in solving the math problem proportionally to how much effort they spent. So a faster computer gets more, uh, more of share of the coins than a slower computer. So one of the things you need to do when you start to get into Dogecoins is you want to sign up for a pool and get all that ready to go. The pool that I use is called Doge House. There's a million different pools out there. This one has been super reliable for me. It, it takes quite a bit of processing power on the server that, that the, the pool is running on. So a lot of times you'll see a pool pop up and then it kind of bogs down or it has some problems processing everything. Doge House has been super solid for me. And it's always, it's always been there and it's always paid out like, like it says it will. So take that as a recommendation if you'd like or, or feel free to experiment around. You're never tied to a specific pool. You can, you can hop around if, if one of them that you join is, is having trouble or you're, just not, you're not having great results with it. And I'm not going to go into the details on exactly what you need to do to sign up. And again, there's so many tutorials out there already. I just want you to kind of, I'm making this video so that you have an idea of all of the pieces that are involved so when you do read the tutorials, you'll know what you're reading about. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle is the part that is, a, is the program that you run that makes your computer actually do the mining. This is the, this is the program that solves the math problem. 
and there's there's a couple of different programs that you will that you'll pick from depending on what kind of video card you have. And it's it's important to note that just your CPU that's in your that's in your computer is not it's not good at this particular type of math problem. But video cards are specifically gaming video cards are really good at these problems. So if you have an ATI card, which is now they're rebranded as AMD, so the Radeon type cards, if you have one of those, or if you have NVIDIA cards, the GeForce cards, those are the kinds of video cards that are really good at solving this math problem. If you don't have one, you can you can try to, to mine Dogecoins, but it's going to be way slower and it's just not going to pay out at a reasonable rate, most likely. So the thing to note here is that if you have an ATI or an AMD card, a Radeon card, you're going to want a program called CG Miner. And if you have an NVIDIA card, you're going to want a program called CUDA Miner, or maybe CUDA Miner, I'm not sure how you say it. But they both work basically the same way. And what's going to happen is you're going to set up some, some stuff on the mining pool website, and then you're going to take that information and you're going to you're going to feed it to CG Miner or CUDA Miner, and then the work is going to happen. And, and those those two programs will both handle the communications back and forth between the mining pool and your computer. And you're going to hear your computer. You know the the fans are going to spin up on your video cards. It's hard work, so you're going to want to make sure that your cards don't overheat, all that kind of stuff. And again, there are tutorials. There are so many tutorials everywhere, and they're all great. So so get out there and look around. I, I really can't recommend the subreddit enough, slash r, slash dogecoin. There's so many helpful people there. You, you'll be able to get this working. The, the CG minor, Q to minor part, those are, that's the most technical part of this. It's the hardest part to get working, at least it was for me. So don't, don't get frustrated, read tutorials, you, you'll figure it out. Those are your mining programs. So what's gonna happen is your miner's gonna run and over time, you're going to accumulate a balance on the pool. And, and this is, it's important, one other thing that's really important to know here is that while these problems get solved in the pool and the pool divvies out the, the Dogecoins, it doesn't actually send it directly to your wallet. Instead, it keeps the balance sort of on, on their server. And you'll configure on the pool when you want this to pay out. So you may want to, you may want to have them send the Dogecoins to your wallet every time you accumulate a thousand Dogecoins or five thousand Dogecoins or whatever. So it, you, need to, you need to remember that just because you have a balance on the mining pool website, that doesn't mean that you actually have the coins yet. You need to tell the mining website to send them to you. And you can also, usually on mining pools, you can request just a, an ad hoc payout. You can just say, hey, give me what, everything that I have right now, regardless of, of how I have the auto withdrawal set. And that's fine, except that you'll pay a little bit of a transaction fee usually whenever you do that. Um, but the auto withdrawal is, is kind of fun because you'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden the, the threshold will be hit and you'll receive a notification in your system tray that, hey, you just got you know a thousand Dogecoins from, from uh, your mining pool. So that's, that's basically it. And, and this is, again, this is oversimplified. I'm not going into the, the technical details of all the different command line parameters that you need to pass into the mining programs and all of this because there's, there's just better tutorials out there. Hopefully though now you have, a pic, you have the, that big picture of how everything fits together. So when you start to read the different tutorials, you'll know what they're talking about. You won't be going in blind and you just see all of these weird command line switches. You're like, I don't even know what CG minor, what is that? I don't. Now hopefully you at least, you, could, you have this picture and you, you see how it all works. And hopefully this has just been a nice introduction to how all of this goes so that you can more easily understand the tutorials that are out there. So again, I, I'll, I'll put a bunch of links in the description down below of the video, but there's the community around Dogecoin is super helpful. They're super friendly. It's kind of a, it's just a fun thing to, to be a part of. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps. Um, I, have a, I have my Dogecoin address down there in the description if you want to donate. I love Dogecoins. They're a lot of fun to, to have and give out and tip to people. And it's just, like I said, it's a whole lot of fun. I wouldn't get into it planning to become some kind of millionaire. Get into it for the fun. Um, get into it for the community. And with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut this video down. Again, I hope you learned something. I hope you can get into Dogecoin. I hope you can have some fun with it. Um, subscribe to my channel. I actually make a lot of video. I make videos about video games mostly, but this has just been this has been a lot of fun. So I've, I wanted to do something to give back to to the community. Um, so subscribe if you like video games, and I'll I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks.